Let's practice the Pythagorean theorem. We learn in the Pythagorean theorem that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. This is a nice formula to refer to. Pythagorean theorem works when you have a right triangle. It's saying that the longest side squared, which is called the hypotenuse, this is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse squared, this number, this side length squared, is equals to this squared plus this squared. So let's figure this out here. C squared equals one side squared, which is going to be three squared, plus the other side squared, which is going to be four squared. So we have C squared equals nine plus 16. Nine plus 16, if you add them up together, is 25. And in math, you're allowed to take the square root of both sides. The square root and the squaring, they cancel each other out. So you have C is equals to five. So from now on, it's good to memorize the three, four, five triangle. So the answer is C equals five. But please memorize this Pythagorean triple, three, four, five. If you memorize this pattern, it comes up a lot. It's called a Pythagorean triple. It's a nice good triple combo to remember. Now let's work on example two. We have c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And your hypotenuse, the longest side, happens to be 13. So 13 squared is equals to one side squared plus the other side squared. It doesn't really matter which order because addition is commutative. You can flip these. So we're trying to solve for x. We're going to throw the 5 squared over to the other side. The positive becomes a, a negative when you throw it across the equal sign here. So 13 squared minus 5 squared is equal to x squared. What's 13 times 13? You can work it out. It's 169. What's 5 times 5? It's 25 equals x squared. What's 169 minus 25? It's 144. So 144 is equal to x squared. And then you take the square root of both sides. What times what is 144? The answer is 12. So as you can see, this is a nice special triangle. It's, it's also a Pythagorean triple, 5, 12, 13. Please make sure that the longest, the biggest side is going to be the hypotenuse. If this was 5, 13, 12, something would be wrong because the hypotenuse must be across the right angle, the longest side. Okay, so the first example we did, we solved for the hypotenuse. The second example, we, we solved for a side length. It's called a leg, a triangle leg. And now, let's try this example. How is it different? Recall that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. This is the hypotenuse. It's the longest side that's across the right angle. We have 2 squared is equal to a squared plus 1 squared. And we're trying to solve for a. It doesn't really matter what variable letter this is. It could be a, b, c, p, q, r, x, y, z. It's fine. So we're going to subtract both sides by 1 squared. So what happens is when you throw this over, it becomes a, the positive becomes a negative. 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, and then we're going to simply square root both sides. So a is equal to root 3. This here is an exact answer. If you really want to use your calculator, you can hit the square root button, second square root. You might have to press shift, square root of 3, enter. It's approximately 1.73. It's just a number.